Hey there, Tundra Nation, and welcome back to the channel today on Tundra Tactical. We explore the FUD realm once again and find out what your favorite shotgun says about you. So don't forget to drop the video a like and let's start the show. If you've ever found yourself dangerously close to tools your dad won't let you play with, or if you've ever taken a disassembled Ruger Mark II or III to a gun shop to have them put it back together, I would highly recommend checking out this week's sponsor, Sonoran Desert Institute. Become your own gunsmith and avoid the walk of shame the next time you have to clean that Ruger with their gunsmith certification course. Or if that's not really your bag, then check out their degree in firearms technology. SDI has helped many people take their Dremel in a dream and turn it into a real life career. And while your dad still might not let you play with the big boy tools, he might just let you clean up after him after he's in the shop. First up, we have the Rock Island VR BP100. This unholy abomination says that you want to be John Wick, but on a budget made entirely of driving around town, collecting the change from couches that have been left out on bulk trash night. Wow, this is garbage. Do you actually like this? You have no concept of quality and don't mind buying from a company that uses mold injected metal parts. Okay? When anyone questions why you don't buy American, you probably tell them that it was made in Turkey, as if that were to give it some sort of air of rarity and mystique. You think the Steyr AUG looks cool, but wish it shot something cheaper than that pricey rifle ammo. This is your one gun to rule them all that you expect to protect your home, put food on the table, and carry you through the impending zombie, vampire, and Canadian apocalypse. You can't trust those hockey stick wielding, mayo eating, arctic dwelling MFers. Let me tell you what. You've never shot this thing and you probably never will, but you know it won't jam even though the only ammo that you have on hand for it is low brass birdshot. Next up is the Benelli M2 Competition Shotgun. You have modified this gun so heavily, it barely resembles anything that you can find on the Benelli website and puts Glock owners to shame. What? You've had half the parts sent out for Cerakote, so its flashiness takes the eyes off your dad gut, last season's 511 pants, and that receding hairline that you're hiding under your brown L's hat. You don't spend time with your kids anymore because they're all online on Twitch watching me, and you probably won't get the jokes. But if you did want to check it out, you could find us at twitch.tv backslash thundergaminglive Monday through Saturday, 5 p.m. to 9 central time. While the shotgun does run flawlessly, you spent all your money on gear and none on training, so you're still struggling to get out of the middle of the C-Class pack, which, based on your previous life choices, doesn't seem to matter to you at all. All you ever do is talk about how awesome your competition performance was, even though nobody cares or actually understands that C-Class is where 99% of the shooters start out. And even though you've been doing this for four and a half years, you still like to dunk on 13 year olds shooting those big tube stogers on their first competition outing with their dad. You are the guy that goes to college alum parties and brags about how good you were at sports ball in high school. The constant string of excuses that come out of your mouth and things don't go your way annoys everybody so much that you're already on your third marriage. You tend to butt into conversations and correct minor non-important inaccuracies just so you can let everybody else in the shop know that you know more than they do, even though you still reference those two nut and fancy videos from almost a decade ago, which is where you got your information. The Remington 870. You all knew this was going to be on the list. You are in top tier FUD territory, not necessarily because of the gun, but because this is the only firearm that you own and you didn't even buy it. It was handed down to you from your dad because it was the only firearm that he ever owned. You curse the big government regulation of your local fish and game office, even though your only two attempts at duck hunting have ended in a shameful walk to the frozen food aisle at your local grocery store. You go to every local gun show dressed in a fishing vest to look for good deals, but just end up walking around talking to other old dudes that have tables set up not to sell guns, but to sell t-shirts and military surplus memorabilia. I thought this was a gun show. Wrong. You can't wait for your grandson to become old enough to teach him how to shoot this thing because you know this FUD lore must be passed on. You still drive a clapped out 1974 F100 because there's no need to upgrade to those fancy pants models of today. Hank Hill is the only modern TV character that you can identify with, 
and you have only two weekend activities. On Saturday, you go and cut the grass, and on Sunday, you see your barber Frank. Loser, you're a loser. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, cause you are dirt. When you occasionally do go out for dinner, you order steak, but have him cook it to that perfect spot of well done. And that, sir, well, that is disgusting. If your go-to scatter gun is a side-by-side -side double barrel shotgun, then you must be a big fan of the movie Tombstone. Just like one of the main characters in that movie, your eyesight must be fading and you can't hit anything with a handgun, so you rely on the spread to annihilate your target. You nodded enthusiastically when Joe Biden says, just fire two blasts off out the window indiscriminately to scare off intruders. Stop it, get some help. You probably reload your own shells with rock salt because you don't want to kill anyone, and this will probably make them think twice. You probably do have a few other guns around the house, but none of them as sweet as that break action you keep in the closet, ready to go. You have killed hundreds of birds with this early 1900s engineering marvel, but you don't eat them because A, after the blast, well, there's nothing left of them, and two, you don't enjoy spitting out bird shot and rock salt. You unironically wear a red and black plaid jacket as camel when you go hunting because it's tried and true. You still watch cartoons, but only if Elmer Fudd is chasing that wascoey wabbit. You most likely have more than 10 acres of land where you go and spend a majority of your time on your 1960s John Deere tractor, only when it's not broke though and needing one of those fancy hydraulic hoses replaced. And while there's nothing wrong with fondly remembering the classics of a bygone era, you, sir, have planted your roots there and refuse to move on. Your stubbornness is only matched by flat earthers and people with comb overs. Ouch, baby. Very ouch. Next up, we have the Maverick 88. You are basically the same as that 870 guy, but you actually bought the gun. Oh, and let's not forget you're probably a lefty. You do try to buy American, but you do most of your shopping at Walmart. In fact, this is where you picked up this boss lead slinging machine. You aren't as big of a FUD as most, in fact, you actually do own a bunch of budget-friendly guns. Despite this, however, you have showed up to a three-gun match with this gun because you knew it would allow you to practice your reloads. You also tell everyone at the match that you wanted to train with what you had. As with most of your guns, you debated getting the Mossberg 590, but this one was just as good. You've spent hours upon hours upon hours scouring the internet for a good deal on Dragon's Breath rounds, but you don't want to damage the barrel. When the gun does finally disintegrate on you because your buddy snuck in a double lot buck shell, you take your time explaining to everyone laughing at you that the warranty will cover it. I'm not so sure that it's going to, bud, but good luck with that anyways. In true Tundra fashion, it wouldn't be a roast if we didn't rag on the CZ hipsters shooting that teal over under shotgun. You are undoubtedly the youngest guy in the trap field every weekend, and you think it's the purest form of the shooting sport as it simulates bird hunting. But you're conflicted because you don't approve of hunting because of course, well, you're a vegan. That's disgusting. After a morning spent on the field wearing your classic vans and whispering, oh, you can't wait to go to the clubhouse to complain that they don't have your newest favorite microbrewery made IPA. You drive an upcycled Prius and listen to early 90s ska exclusively. You don't dare talk about this with your coworkers because Juniper from the produce department at Whole Foods, well, she just won't understand. Damn it, and plus, you used the wrong pronoun again. Well, that about wraps it up for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to check out these two cripplers right here. And don't forget to join us next week when we still don't know what the heck we're doing. Bye.